I'm Lisa Blackwell, and I've been coming to NACI for at least seven years now. It seems like a lot longer since I've known Bob. And um, Bob and I are just going to tell you why we like being together. you got to tell them where you work, too. Oh, oh. When I'm not here, I'm working at Nationwide Children's Medical Library, uh, which is part of Columbus, Ohio's, Ohio State University. And I'm Bob Persing. I'm the Serious Librarian at the University of Pennsylvania Library in Philadelphia. And I've been coming to NASIC for 18 years now. That I makes him a lot older than me. Yeah. <laughs> I've earned these gray hairs. Yeah. Um, so what do you like about NASIC? I, I love, I love the, the informality, the congeniality, and the content. You know, uh, the, I got into NASIC when my fax and rep <laughs> said to me, oh, you've got to go to NASIC. You know, it's where all the serials people get together, and it's a lot of fun, too. I thought, okay. So, Give it a try. It was the first professional conference I ever went to. I went, and all these uh, uh, facts and people, particularly, but some others, who got up and did skits up on the stage in shorts and sang. And I thought, oh, this is my sort of people. You know. Uh, and then I met a then I met a woman named Susan Davis who was there and seemed to have been there since day one. Uh, and she, she was like, oh, they're late night socials too. Then I, you know, come. To, so I came and we danced till like two in the morning. And then at 7 o'clock the next morning, I crawled down to the dining hall you know, for breakfast, kind of like, uh, and Susan's there like, hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Wide awake, eager. You know, it's like, OK, these are resilient people. OK. So tell me about your first NASIC. My first NASIC was the last one where we did dorms, mm -hmm. and I came back. <laughs> I really did enjoy it. I, I would never have come back if it hadn't been so much fun the first time. And um, it's the people. That's what I would tell anybody about what's good about NASIC. It's the people. I knew the subject area was going to be fun. I knew that um, I was going to be interacting with people that are working in the same field I am. But honestly, it's the people we connect with here. And like Eve said earlier, it's not networking like you yeah. think of the cliche. It's you actually and truly get to know your friends. They're friends after you met them. And, um, Bob and I have speed dials to each other now. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot, and this past year has really cemented the relationship, I think. Yeah. We've been co-chairs of database and directory for the last year, and now she's been elected treasurer, so she'll so be the board liaison. I get to hold his hand even longer. Oh, so that's <laughs> <laughs> but it's But NASIG has been the single most uh, important outside professional or organization in my career, and probably the thing I love most about anything outside of working at um, my own library. Yeah, it's definitely been the most important organization for me too. I've been on program planning, nominations and elections, uh, ECC, bylaws, and now D&D &D and served a term on the board. Uh, and you know, I used to do this and also do ALA committees and I just gradually let ALA drop away because I just liked this so much better. Uh, I was thinking about the session were you in that session, the perpetual access one? I sure yeah, was. This morning, with the last session we went to before we came here, uh, I thought it was really good. It didn't resolve anything. It didn't solve any problems. It was one of these discussion sessions, but it really was a discussion session. The, the panelists only spoke for maybe 10 minutes, and then everything else was everybody talking. But it was great because everybody was talking. And you had perspectives from all over the place, yeah. different libraries, different Parts of the, the serials chain, right, yeah, the publishers, library. vendors, yeah. um, people from the UK who mm -hmm. had their own perspectives. Um, that's that's what's so neat. Um, and it really was the feeling that everybody was equal. Right. And, uh, could speak we all up. have issues and we all have something positive to contribute to the discussion. And only one person there was wearing a tie and I think it's because he felt like it. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> I've never seen Lisa in a tie. You know. Well, you, you don't go to the late night socials anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like staying in the dorms. You know, it, it was a nice way to relive that college experience, and you know, you got thrown in with the strangers and got to know them, and I got to know a lot of good people that way, who I'm you know, still friendly with. Why well, don't we just party in the rooms? Yeah, the, the hotels are fine too. I do like you know clean sheets and no cockroaches. You know. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. 